What's up, everybody? This is Ron Moore. Yeah, uh, what's ECW? Number four. I want to talk about, um, let's see, Contra, Super C, and what was the last one? I forgot. Not Life Force, Contra Force. Yeah, I never played Contra Force. Now I want to, talking about it. But, yeah, I, I've never played Contra Force, but I think I heard negative things about it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I do want to try it out at some point, either in a video or live stream, whatever. But Contra and Super C, I have some good stories about those games. Contra, my earliest memories of it was when I, man, it was great stuff. Like, I think uh, one of my friends, I think his name was Dustin. He, um, and not my long, uh, long time friend, Dusty, rest in peace. But another guy, another kid before that named Dustin. This is like, maybe I was in first or second grade elementary school. Um, I really enjoyed going over there and playing video games with them. Super Mario Brothers. What else was it? Um, Contra, of course, and uh, Anticipation. Contra was one of the games we played two-player. And at the time, it was so hard. My webcam is all crooked. I'm trying to... I'm not used to doing these kind of videos. I haven't done these videos in a long time. Just sitting in front of a webcam talking. I usually use my phone, if nothing else. But um, anyway, I don't think I really care. But Contra, yeah, um, I remember it being hard back then. And today it can still be fairly challenging, especially when doing a no death run. I know about that. If you watch my streams, it took me three separate streams to freaking do a no death run. And when I finally did it, it was like my probably my greatest gaming accomplishment in as far as like what I did on YouTube, live or recorded. And I remember just playing two-player co-op with my friends back in the day and it being hard. And I guess it had the Mandela effect because there was a time where I thought there was a boss in the snowfield stage in Contra where you know how the first boss of the jungle is that machine? Well, I thought there was like a, another one like that in stage five, the snowfield. But I guess I got my stages mixed up or something. Because later on, as a kid, I would go back and play it again. I go, wait, this, 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 this is not the boss I remember. This is weird. Um, but at the time, Contra was very, very hard to me. Today, I can breeze through it without the thirty-man code, pretty easily. To know Death Run it though is a different story. I think I might have done it twice on stream. The first time, I made it a goal. The second time, I did it by mistake. Not uh, mistake. I did did it like I just wanted to play Contra casually, and then I realized I did another No Death Run. So that was cool. Contra is like a Thomas classic. It never gets old. You always go back to play it. At least I do. I know a lot of other people feel the same way. I always go back to stream it. It's one of my comfort streams. And that's why sometimes I'll stream that alongside Super C. Uh, but Contra, I remember just the, the music, just the, going back looking at it from a child's perspective, was some of the greatest gaming memories of my life. And I remember when I discovered the 30-man code, that was ECW. The 30-man code was a pretty cool cheat to unlock, so I used it a lot as a kid, but I don't need it to beat it. And I remember my friends hated playing with me in two-player co-op because I was like, if you can't keep up, it's your fault. Like the waterfall stage, I would keep jumping up and up and up on the platforms and leaving my partner behind so if they you know how if they touch the bottom of the screen they're dead they would get mad at me and say man you need to wait wait for me keep you know stop hold on a second wait for me you keep killing me and i was like well you got to keep up you got to keep up so for some reason i was i don't know i was was i wasn't trying to be a jerk i was just like hey man we got to save the world you got to keep up you can't be dragging me behind if you can't keep up you're dead i'm gonna leave you behind Wow, what a soldier and partner I was. But, yeah, and I just remember, especially with two players, sometimes or sometimes I wanted to take the second controller and play as Scorpion. Scorpion was one of the red pants. I wanted to play as him for a change, you know, switch it up a little bit. And, yeah, so I had a lot of fun with Contra. I remember my dad buying it for me on my birthday. My dad passed away in November, God rest his soul. He bought me some video games. He's the one that bought me Simon's Quest when I was a kid. I told I said just just pick a game at random 
pick a game at random and you know uh and he picked simon's quest but i asked this one year for my birthday i specifically asked for contra and my parents got divorced so my dad didn't live with me but he sent it in the mail and i was over at my friend's house earlier that day and i was just i think i remember praying like god let that game arrive today let that game arrive today just having high hopes and as soon as i got home boom my mom said well your game came in the mail and i had contra finally my own copy of contra not having to go over to a friend's house and bar or borrow to play it i finally had my own copy of contra so that was a great memory to have one of the best presents i ever got was contra for the nes and yeah so i absolutely loved contra to this day i still love it i still love to play it and yeah contra i remember um yeah me and my friend swindall you might remember him old videos we play contra together two-player co-op and yeah i mean he loves contra as well I mean, a lot of people a lot of my friends when i was a kid pretty much everybody pretty much everybody loved contra um and so it was just uh, it's, it's it's a timeless classic one of konami's best games ever some people prefer it over super c and speaking of super c super e c w super c i remember seeing what was it in, when you would buy a konami game sealed concealed in box and you open it up and you get those little posters and uh promoting other konami games well that's where i discovered super c i'm like what is super c the letter c that looks like uh the c in contra as in super contra i didn't know about the arcade games of contra super contra back then but looking at it you can tell it's like the sequel to super to, to contra so i said oh man there's a super contra wow me and my friends would call it super contra not back then not super c we didn't, again we didn't realize there was an arcade version super contra so super c comes out and i don't remember if i rented it first or played it first before i bought it but i remember the day my dad took me to toys r us to buy it and i brought it over my friend's house and we would play a lot of super super c it was very very fun super c uh and something more a bit more challenging than contra there was only the 10 man code not the 30 i don't know why they decided to put just 10 instead of 30 this time but but super c that was very fun as well i mean the stage environments the only thing i kind of didn't like about super c i said this in my last stream on twitch when i streamed contra and super contra a super c i know i keep getting the you know what i mean super c was when it, when you first start the stages for example in contra the jungle base one the waterfall the stages have names and super c they don't have names it's just area one area two area three why as a kid i didn't think about that or care about it but looking back over over the years as an adult i'm like why didn't they get creative with the names in super c did they not have time they had to rush it out before the deadline and they just said well this is called area one area two area three um it's kind of disappointing like i mean that they didn't name the stages i don't know what you would name some of those stages stage one what um it looks like a I don't know what the, it's like a construction zone or something like they were building it on a highway or something whatever it's supposed to be and they didn't finish you call it construction zone or something you had an energy zone and contra why not construction zone i don't know but but other than that super c the music the stage environments the classic two-player co-op action that was very fun to experience as a kid me and my friend swindall did a review on youtube the back when i did the low budget review series of super c it's a three-part review because back then youtube had like a 10 minute time limit unless you were a youtube partner or something me and swindall did a review of that game from 2008 it's still up today me and swindall had fun recording the footage for that game doing commentary over that game me and swindall also grew up playing super c on the nes so super c was a very very fun game to play but I still got prefer Contra for nostalgic reasons. They're both nostalgic to me. <clears throat> but I have more nostalgia with Contra. I just do. That's me. Now, as far as Contra Force, I have, again, I never played it. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. 
which of the three games you prefer contra super c or contra force i do want to try it at some point contra force i do plan to try that soon and i don't know when don't look for it to happen soon actually i say soon i, I hope to do it soon but i still got projects to work on that i'm behind on oracle seasons twilight princess Mega man 7 etc there's so much stuff i want to do just not much time to do it but i do want to try it one day just to see for myself but what do you guys think let me know in the comments below and yeah let's talk about contra super c and contra force your best memories and all that good stuff all right guys so that's what's ecw with me recently i will see you guys later have a good one i'm ron moore god bless take care